Quick progress update on our 97 Cobra Coyote swap. We've got our control pack harness run, we've got the pedal in place, and we've got the fuel system pretty much lined out the way we want it. Let's go ahead and show you what we did. We bent some angle brackets and mounted the PCM to the passenger side fender apron. We mounted the PCM harness up behind the fender apron and around the front of the core support. And quick, fast, and dirty, we mounted the fuse box and data link connector under the hood. We're not 100% with that. We do want to get it inside the car. For the fuel system, we mounted our regulator over here on the firewall, took the factory fuel lines, cut them down, and put compression fitting with an adapter that way we could run braided line and we have the braided line run over where it's going to connect to the fuel rail. Let's hop inside the car and check out what we did with the pedal. Using our SVE pedal bracket the control pack pedal bolted right into the car and is going to work perfectly. We did have to bend a little bit of metal out of the way to get it to plug in. Now keep in mind this is not the end all be all of coyote swaps. There are several liberties we can take on this car that you may not be able to take on your car because we are working on a race car. We just want to illustrate how easy it is to put a 5 liter coyote in any late model Mustang. The Ford Racing Control Pack is clearly labeled and comes with intense instructions so it's pretty clear as to where everything goes. On our next checkup, we're going to show you how the motor goes into the car, so subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out LateModelRestoration.com for all of your Coyote Swap needs.